Welcome to iLecture Online. Now let's use the laws of logarithms to simplify some of these expressions or to rewrite them in certain formats. For example, in the first case, we want to expand the expression using the log laws of logarithms. In the second case, we want to combine the expressions. So here we have the log of the fourth root of x squared minus 1. So this could be written as the log of the quantity x squared minus 1 to the 1 fourth power. And then we use the rules of logarithms to take that and put it in front. So this can be written as 1 quarter the log of the quantity x squared minus 1. Now here, there's no way to simplify that. You may be tempted to say, oh, wait a minute, is there some rule where we can take subtraction and change it to a, to a division? But in this case, I would be in the wrong direction. So this is the, the last stop, so to speak. That is as far as we can go. Now if we take a look at this one here, here we can go that particular route. Here we have a division, so this can be written as the log of the numerator, which is a squared, minus the log of the denominator, which is b squared times c. Then here we can use the rule where we take the exponent here and put it in front, so this can be written as 2 times the log of a minus, and here we have a product, so this can be written as the log of b squared plus the log of c. And then finally we have the exponent again, so we can bring that exponent in the front, so this can be written as 2 times the log of a minus 2 times the log of b, and then applying this negative sign, minus the log of c, and that would be the final form if you want to expand it. All right, now let's go to combining the expression. Now we want to go the other way. So here we have the log of a plus the log of b. This can be written as the log of a times b. We make that into a product, minus, and we take the 2 and bring it up as an exponent, minus the log of c squared and then we can take this minus and use it as a division when we combine it so this can be written as the log of a times b divided by c squared and that would be the combined form of this original equation see you can go back and forth and finally here we can say okay this is equal to the natural log of 2 times 10 plus take this and move it as an exponent up here, the natural log, and notice that this, this becomes the exponent of both a and b, so it would be a times b to the third power. And then we can go ahead and say, well, this is the natural log of 2 times 10, which is equal to the natural log of 20, plus the natural log of a times b, quantity to the third power. And then we can combine this even further, and this can be written as a natural log of 20 times a times b to the third power, and we'll put a parenthesis like this. You can expand it by saying a to the third power, b to the third power, but we really don't need to do that. So here we have the case where we combine the expressions, and here we have the case where we expand the expression simply using those laws of logarithms. And that's how it's done.